Good morning, class four. Children, today we will start a new chapter. That is chapter number five, basics of MS PowerPoint. I'm sure you must have heard the name of PowerPoint. So in this chapter, we will study what exactly it is and how we can use and uh, what is all there. Okay, so the let's see the topics here. In this lesson, what we are going to study. presentation different elements of powerpoint screen starting ms powerpoint creating a new presentation inserting and deleting a slide inserting text box word art slide numbers in a slide saving opening and closing a presentation view a slide show and how to exit ms powerpoint so without without further delay let's start the chapter introduction You have already studied MS Word in earlier classes. You know that it is a word processing software. MS Office is a complete software package developed by Microsoft Corporation USA. So uh, you, here we are talking about MS Word that you have already studied in class three and even in class fourth, and it is a part of MS Office package. This you have studied. and now uh, a brief introduction of what is ms office as we all know that ms here stands for microsoft so it is developed by microsoft corporation and it is a usa based company so why it was developed while explaining um, uh, the previous chapter that is about word processor i told you that ms office was basically for office work whatever that is needed uh, while we are working in our office everything is there in that uh, package be it uh, ms word that is a word processing software now this one ms of office powerpoint it is a presentation software then there is ms excel ms access like that there are many applications which we usually need when uh, people are working in a office okay so now ms powerpoint is one of the software packages in ms office which is used for creating exciting slide show presentations so this software is used for creating a uh, slide show presentations and i'm sure you are not at all new uh, to this word slide show presentations you have seen so many times these kind of presentations in school and even while uh, online classes are going on Uh, in school you have seen it uh, during your assemblies then uh, during annual day when the annual report is shown to you and uh, i'm sure some of you must be knowing how to make it also okay so that is the slide show presentation in which we are showing different slides uh, for uh, giving some information or for particular purpose now presentation a structured delivery of information is known as a presentation it is a systematic display of information along with graphics movies sound etc all these are displayed together on the screen so what is a what is the meaning of a structured delivery of information means when uh, when we have to give some information to somebody or when we are uh, teaching somebody something or we are uh, um, explaining some new topic to somebody uh, we need to be very uh, particular about how we are giving that information we cannot uh, give uh, one information from that point point and another information from this point no it cannot be done like let's take the example of your uh, book any book uh, in the book first there is a index then uh, some topics uh, the topics are starting from uh, let's say if we take maths book so uh, uh, there is a order in which all the topics are given and then in those topics first the introduction is given then some examples related to it is given then the simpler topics are explained um before the difficult ones like this means there is a structure there is a way in which the information is imparted to the target audience that means you okay and uh, even teachers when they are teaching any particular subject 
whether it is English, Math, Science or even this uh, computer, there is a method in which the information is given to you. Okay, so that is called the structured information and when, when that delivery of information is uh, done with the help of slides, then it is called presentation. It, it, is, it is a systematic display, means there is a system involved in this. Uh, it is not just some random uh, way of giving information in which graphics is involved, movies, sound and then pictures, even text is involved. So when all these are displayed together, it forms a presentation. Okay. Take a close look at some of the presentations prepared using MS PowerPoint. Okay, when you will see the presentations and if you recall those presentations, you will realize that all were systematic in some way or the other. A presentation contains number of slides which are grouped together in a sequence to form a slide show. So uh, it contains many slides in it and which are grouped together means uh, some slides may be for the introduction, some for the explanation, some may be for ex uh, giving examples and some may be for advanced information like that. So they are grouped together and they have a sequence means uh, introduction cannot be at the end and then explanation cannot be at the beginning. So there is a sequence in which they are uh, grouped together and this forms a slide show. Now computer manners clean all parts of computer on a regular basis as dust, dust can affect them adversely. This you have been learning from the I guess uh, from class 1 onwards. So there is nothing much to explain in that. Now, a slideshow is an electronic presentation, means it involves electronic medium, that is computer. So it is an electronic presentation displayed on a computer screen. See different people using MS PowerPoint. So it is an electronic presentation and it involves a computer system, that is the must for it. Now, the bank staff teachers and students here you can see and even businessmen. So here we can see that uh, how the people, different people are involved and they can make use of this uh, software for imparting the information. Now inspiration, Bob Gaskins, a former PhD student at UC Berkeley first gave the idea for PowerPoint. So we can say that uh, he, uh, he thought of it and he started the uh, development of this application. Now, how to start MS PowerPoint 2007? Very easy, whatever the steps which were involved uh, with MS Word, we can use here also. Click the start button, then click all programs, then you will click on Microsoft Office and then you will search for these this application and you will open it. Now, we will uh, end today's class here. You need to go through the various elements which are given on the next page, okay. So in the next class, we shall go through these elements. Till then, please do read it and if you can open it on your computer system, please do that, okay. Bye-bye. Take care.